Bravo! Lady C posts the latest video with full evidence to convict Harry and Dr. Mate of fraud. Hello, friends. Welcome to breaking royal news about the notorious hypocritical couple Harry and Meghan Markle on our Kate Middleton and the Queen News Version 2 channel. It served as a marketing tactic. Dr. Mate had the audacity to declare Harry to be alive. Harry revealed some intriguing details. Harry asserts that kindness is necessary. Have you forgotten, Harry, how your mother chased after and assaulted your father around the house? Why is Charles evil and Diana a deity? Harry acknowledged the peril of drug usage. His statements might be harmful to others if they believe that utilizing outside chemicals to skew views is okay. Drugs are not a quick fix since they affect who you are. Harry, get smart and mature. You have to deal with the facts. We can observe Harry's effects from marijuana, cocaine, and other drugs. She's unable to specify what the other drugs are due to legal constraints. Because of his incontinence, Harry will undoubtedly reveal what these chemicals are, according to Lady C. According to Lady C, this is indignation, but a pleasant outrage. Because we can now clearly perceive the situation we are in. Harry and Dr. Mate are liars who are trying to trick you into believing that you can go from here to New York by consuming marijuana. Lady C is aware that Doria was a major marijuana smoker, thanks to the Markle family, and she suspects Megan is too. Harry isn't in pain. Nothing in his writing suggests that he experienced particularly severe anguish. Nothing in his life happened to him that justifies classifying him in a different group. He is unaware that some people have actually endured trauma, like when you were 13 and you saw your grandfather's brains on the ground. Lady C is upset. She is still discussing the same topic as Harry and Dr. Mate 36 minutes into the film. She claims that everything is a ruse to sell 2 million books that have been marked down significantly from the beginning. There is no proof that any books were published at full price. Harry is pleased to shower his kids with affection. There is no love here. It's an indulgence, this. Megan's example of smothering love should be all you need to know. Look at what she did to her father after being showered in love by both of her parents. The mother should say as little as possible about pot-smoking ladies. Next, Lady C does her Doria mimic on Netflix, criticizing the royal family. In this video, Lady C exhibits extreme rage. Read your Bible, Harry. Love that is smothered is as awful as no love. Were you not given enough hugs? See where that got you? Constant hugs from your mother. One of the world's most de despised couples includes you as one half. Lady C expresses sympathy for the kids and predicts that Archie and Lilibet will eventually come clean. They bear no accountability for their decisions. Harry claims he's not a victim, but nonetheless leveled charges. Then pleads for compassion, then refute, continue to deny. This is the typical drug addiction behavior, no responsibility. Concerns with the Netflix original series and Chris Rock. Is the fact that it's on the same network a betrayal of Meghan and Harry? No, Netflix is a successful business. Penguin Random House is the same. Both businesses won't be loyal to Harry and Meghan. They also shouldn't anticipate it. They showed little fidelity to the royal family's institution. Well done, Chris Rock. This reveals that Harry and Meghan are genuinely thought to be by Netflix. By treating Meghan and Harry's statements as reality, Netflix caused irreparable harm to the Commonwealth and the royal family. They spread Meghan and Harry's falsehoods in order to further a phony agenda. That was terrible how they brought up Empire. And right now, Chris Rock is telling it how it is about Meghan Markle, calling her a disgusting hustler and piece of garbage. His argument is that because she spent her whole life pretending, she is so full that she can't wonder what color the children's will be. She has been exposed by Chris Rock for her hypocritical abuse, and with good reason. Netflix and Chris Rock deserve praise for revealing the truth. 
Concerns regarding Frogmore Cottage. Where will Catherine and William go if Meghan and Harry are permitted to stay in June? Concerned about William and Catherine's safety, this viewer, Lady C advises not to stress too much. They live comfortably at Kensington Palace in London. Kensington Palace is not accessible to Harry and Meghan. Harry's pupils are dilated. Have you observed that? Lady C ends the video by implying that Harry has a drug problem. It troubles me how Harry talks so blithely about drug use. Yes, marijuana and mushrooms can be therapeutics, but they can also be crutches. As someone whose sibling is an addict, I have seen firsthand how some people can self-medicate and mistake it for self-love. Drugs as a therapeutic require a care team of medical professionals. Therapists monitored prescriptions appropriate to mental health ailment, regular assessments, and willing systematic patient participation. I doubt he undertakes any of these measures. He probably just sparks up with his wife and mother-in-law and thinks it has done some good. Depression and anxiety are so common and largely undiagnosed because of cultural norms like keeping a stiff upper lip or powering through. There are beautiful, sensitive souls who aren't compatible with these social norms. My sibling is brilliant, kind, and genuine, but also deeply misunderstood, and one day said, this world is confusing to me. Drug use and reliance should never be glamorized. It is symptomatic of deeper, unresolved traumas or mental health struggles. Harry making light of it sends such a dangerous message. One spectator commented with evidence to support this argument. This is a really difficult subject for me to discuss. We lost my nephew five years ago through suicide, and it's still very raw. We watched him for years destroy himself with his addiction to weed, alcohol, and Lord knows what else. He suffered from crippling anxiety and depression, but would never stick with therapy, as we or a family would force him to. He'd rather smoke his weed and drink his beer to, fuel, to feel temporarily better. The point of this story is no drug, whether it's illicit or prescribed, will cure your mental health issues unless you're prepared to work on yourself to get better with the help of trained medical professionals who can guide you through it. For Harry to not stress that point in his idiotic ramblings is hugely irresponsible and flat out dangerous. He should be hauled over the coals for it and I hope he is. What do you think about the evidence that Lady C presented to accuse Harry of fraud and tolerating drug use? Let us know your thoughts below in the comment section. We hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to leave a like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you like it. Thank you for watching this newsletter. See you in the next video. Goodbye.